Oh, okay. Get your wine, get your coat, dust off your favorite push-up bra because we are about to get a little messy. Welcome back, eavesdroppers. We need to be listening. Today, we have a lot of hot gossip to drop, so let us commence with the girl talk. So the theme of today's episode seems to be like fathers. <laughs> We're talking yeah. about a lot of different kinds of fathers today. And the first one we want to talk about is Will Smith. So I'm sure by now you've all heard about the Oscars fiasco, but if you hadn't, first of all, how? Are you watching this on a right. rock? <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you haven't, thank you, Twin. No, here's no, the clip. Ahead. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> That was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Beep. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> no, it's nothing like it's really <laughs> in real time. So, what was your first reaction to winning because I you actually watched the Oscars live right mm -hmm. when it was happening yeah yeah what did you think at first I thought it was staged like when it first like when he slapped him I thought it was staged but then when I saw everything after the slap I was like oh no this wasn't planned yikes but if you want my honest first thoughts like truly I was like this is gonna be great PR for both of them. I mean, you're not wrong. I think it kind of has been. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch it live. So I watched it like on video and TikTok like the next day. And my initial reaction is still what I stand on right now. I think it was orchestrated. I truly believe. I do. I think it was orchestrated. I'm not saying it wasn't real. Mm -hmm. It was a real slap. I think it was really orchestrated. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I, I feel like I can see it from both sides, right? So I see it from the side that it like wasn't orchestrated. It really happened. Um, I just, I guess in my head, I didn't think it would be as big as it has blown up to be. Mm -hmm. I guess there was like a little bit of naivety, naivety, whatever. No, I, totally get that I was naive. I didn't really see it as a big deal. Not I didn't like it either. wasn't a big deal, but I didn't expect it to have the impact on the industry that it has had. Like it is now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the side that makes me feel like it's a little bit orchestrated. I know it was like this big thing that happened and Will Smith, of course, is who he is. So of course, people are gonna come out of the woodworks, but I feel like every single celebrity ever has said something about it. Like even if they've been hiding under a rock for the past five years, like they came out yeah. and spoke about this. And I just think that's super interesting. Um, I don't really have an opinion on whether it was right or wrong one way or mm -hmm. the other. I do think that Will and Jada have been under constant scrutiny, like ever since the whole August Alcina thing and everything. And I feel like Will does take a lot. And I know people yeah. be like, it comes with the territory or whatever. 
but at the end of the day, he's a human. You know what I mean? So we can only take so much. And there's a point where it's like, when do I get to turn this curtain off of always being in this theatrical moment of having to play this part? And will, when can I express my true emotions? Mm-hmm. That's how I felt. Do I feel like he should be canceled? No. Do I feel like he will be canceled? No, it's Will Smith. I feel like he had a moment just like anybody else would have. And I feel like all these celebrities that are like calling for his, like, you know, they're literally not like death, sending him like, to the hypothetical yeah. guillotine right now. Like, <laughs> yes. Or they're trying to, at least. They're trying to. They're like wanting his Oscar to be taken away. They're comparing him. They're like, it's just gotten way out of hand. I don't know. Well, I actually kind of want to look at it from a different like perspective and uh, approach. So like a court gesture, they, I feel like comedians have to learn how to walk a certain line. And if they choose not to walk that line, which is their choice, I think that they should be ready to deal with the consequences. The internet is here. They've seen it happen to other comedians. And at this point, I feel like they either need to adapt or be ready to face certain consequences because it's not like how it used to be. You can't just get on TV and say anything you want to anymore. Granted, I don't think that like the joke was that horrible. Like I feel like I've heard so much worse. And I feel like people so have much gotten worse. away with so much worse. But as it pertains to like Will and Jada and what they were going to, I understand why he did that. But, you know, detaching from that, the joke wasn't that. I feel like it didn't need that reaction. Which kind of makes me like that, like backs up my point that I feel like it was orchestrated. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a feeling inside. I watched the way everything played out. And it's like, in my personal opinion, wasn't nobody checking for the Oscars. Who's like, ain't nobody been checking for the Oscars for a good minute or award shows, period. Because, Correct. I mean, we know why. Yeah, their ratings and have been going down consistently for years. For years. So they needed something to give them a like, mm. and to me, I found interesting that one of, like one of the first things Chris Rock said after it happened was, this is, this is the greatest night of television or whatever he said. He was like, he, he said something to that effect. And I was just like, and of course everyone's like, he's a comedian. He had to keep it going, baby. But just that specific statement, I was just like, okay. And then that's what was trending. And then it became this whole, oh my God, now we got to worry about people going up and assaulting comedians. Like, shut Beep. up. Like, I didn't even say that. <laughs> like, shut up. It's not that big of a deal. Like, you guys are turning this into something that it just doesn't need to be. Like yeah. you're doing exactly what everyone expects you to do. You know what I, I thought was know. interesting though, while you were speaking, um, you mentioned how it's orchestrated and I think it's kind of cool, yet terrifying how the lines are blurring so much that it's getting harder to tell what is orchestrated and what isn't, especially since yeah, you're in a room, it's the Oscars, you're in a room full of actors. For all you know, they could just be acting. <laughs> exactly. But like, if it wasn't. I don't know. Was Moonlight I lean more towards, huh? Was the Moonlight situation orchestrated? There's, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Come on, this is not a joke. This is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. This is is not a joke. Moonlight has won Best Picture. 
was the Miley What's Good orchestrated. And now, back to this beat that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? Was the, I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce made the crit. I'm really happy for you, I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Was that orchestrated? We don't know. We don't like, know. Like, we'll never know 100% for sure whether one party did it without the other one knowing it or whether both parties colluded together to do it. We'll never know if it's orchestrated or not. Ooh, that's like the allure of Hollywood, though. It is. I was literally just thinking that. And of course, everyone has to play their part. So, mm -hmm. like, it's coming out how it needs to come out. I feel like what has been the biggest talk since this nothing really something but that just happens that doesn't count right so yeah i'm over it well Alrighty. i'm not so let's talk about the fallout <laughs> so <laughs> somehow this has created this huge domino effect ringing out throughout social media in Hollywood, where certain celebrities and influencers are speaking out or voicing their opinions about what happened at the Oscars with Will Smith and Chris Rock, and receipts are being pulled. So I think one of the biggest victim, victims to this by far are Zoe Kravitz, Alec Baldwin, Jim Carrey. Um, those are just the ones at the top of my head. But how do you, like, how do you feel about that? How do you feel that if you voice an opinion that the rest of the internet might not agree with, you get, I don't know, pushed to the guillotine along with it? <laughs> Will Smith, I guess. <laughs> I guess it just depends, one, how you voice that opinion, and two, what is, like, surrounded by it. I feel mm -hmm. like, well, one, I don't even know who that Zoe girl is, but I've seen her name like all over Twitter. And I'll reference Jim Carrey because I know I was reading about that specifically. Didn't he say like he wanted Will to go to jail or something? Something along those lines. We'll post it right now. There you go. Yeah, that's what he said. So I just feel like, you do have the preference of posting your opinion, but just like how you said earlier, like comedians, they can say what they want, but they have to be ready to receive that backlash. It's the same with giving your opinion. Like you can have your opinion. We all have them and you can voice that, but you have to be ready to deal with the backlash if it doesn't like amount to what the mass is think or think that you should think mm -hmm. so I do think it was crazy uh to say that he should have gone to jail um would we really say that if they were celebrities in public doing this like on a public stage like if you were into it with your friend I don't even know if they're friends but like an acquaintance mm -hmm. and he said a joke that you didn't like and you said something like maybe I don't know, kind of derogatory back to him or like threw something at him. Should you go to jail for that? Like, what are you guys even saying right now? I think when I think about the opinions that celebrities give on things that happen like this, they do it for the sake of keeping their audience, like letting their audience know, this is what I tolerate this is what I don't tolerate. Mm -hmm. And I feel like in some of those circumstances, you could just keep your mouth closed. Yeah. I think that, oh, I'm actually kind of tor torn between this because like the PR side of me, is just like, okay, a lot of these people need to learn how to be quiet. They're like ruining their own bags and own opportunities. But the messy side of me, it's like, I want y'all to say whatever y'all, say it all, I'm eating it up. I wanna know. 
I love when people get messy. I like watching it, but I don't know. People are people. We're Americans. We like to say what's on our mind. We don't really think yeah, about consequences. Are. No, we don't. Clearly. Clearly. Yeah. Well, he was defending Jada, which putting everything aside to me as a hopeless romantic will always be a bit admirable. Right. But you know what's not admirable? Scamming a baby daddy's out of child support money when you don't even have a child. Oh, so you say that let's again. Let's talk about Black China because she just took to Twitter and said this and this. Pause to read. Um, and she was dealt with a little clap back. Wasn't she twin? Uh, not once, but twice. But twice. And you know what's funny? When she posted that on Twitter, I didn't even see it. Um, one of my other best friends sent it to me. And my literal words were, uh, I think what she means to say is they're not giving her money for her own needs. And literally after I said that, the Shade Room posted like a screenshot of Tyga commenting on it and was like, I pay mm-hmm. 40K for my school to go to, uh, for my son to go to school a year. And I have him five of the seven days of the week. Why would I pay child support? And Dream is always with Rob. He's always with Chloe specifically. You can't um, deny that. All, you There's, can't. It's been years. Like everyone knows that she's always with Chloe. Always with Chloe. And what does that mean? That Rob has her because Black China ain't driving over to Chloe's house and dropping her off now. Mm-mm. So I think that Black China expected a certain thing, especially since not only does she have a baby with Tyga, who's a famous rapper and has money, like mm-hmm. consistent money. But like the Kardashians, oh, you see wait. the way that pause, 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 twin. I don't know about to get that consistent money part. Only because when you have music and it gets downloaded or it gets played, you're still receiving revenue off of that. That's I what I meant. They make like point zero cent per stream. Not no, point but- zero cent. No, Tyga has been like in trouble for finances a lot over the years. Even recently, he, he I think he rented something in his son's name. Like this is mm-hmm. just a couple of days ago. And I'm not now saying that we that. know how much he pays in child support, or not child, not child support child. for his child for school. <laughs> so for his child school, yeah. it makes sense. True, but. She ain't got no job that we know of as the public. Okay. I don't know her public life, but I think that she expected. Huh? I think she was doing OnlyFans for a while. She shouldn't have had to sell her three cars then. I thought she was making good money off of it. At least she was bragging about it earlier, like last year or something. You know why I think she posted that? I think Mm -hmm. that she would receive sympathy especially since how much the hate how much hate the kardashians get so i think that they would say you guys are billionaires you live this way but this single mother over here is struggling especially since she's like black but it didn't happen like that you can't do that especially when you have fathers that are taking care of their children like don't do that also black china has kind of fallen from grace with the black users on social media i think about when she first got with rob she was kind of like dare i say a fan favorite but oh how the mighty have fallen it is not the case anymore so i think that she may have thought she could like rally up those same emotions but it really backfired it backfired but i think that's sad because I actually like Black China. Well, I like her aesthetic. 
I don't. It might just be nostalgia though. Funny that you say that because I feel like those are the type of women Kim was talking about. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your beep up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work. Did you know that she like, not really issued an apology, but she did an interview with, um, can't think of her name. She's a host on Good Morning America. And it's supposed mm -hmm. to come out on Tuesday, whatever that day is. I have to really work hard to get there, even if it might seem like it's easy and that you can build a really successful business off of social media and you can if you put in a lot of hard work and it wasn't a blanket statement towards women or to feel like i don't respect the work or think that they don't work hard i know that they do that so was taken out of context but i'm i'm really sorry if it was received that way um but she said that it was taken out of context. And I truly believe that. I think that, first of all, she shouldn't have had to issue an apology in the first place. I feel like if you know, then you know, right? She wasn't talking to us. She, as much as we like to complain about the circle that she's in, we forget what circle she is in. Exactly. So I feel like when she, yeah, I feel like when she said that, that's the circle of people she was talking about. Like, she's not talking about us. So why would she? Um, I agree with what she said. Because if we're talking about Black China, like, you can't just depend on your baby's daddy to, like, foot the way for you to have a nice life. And I honestly think, because I can't remember who it is at the top of my head right now but someone else that's like famous it's a man is going to have to pay child support of like $144,000 a month for the for what for what that's not going to the child that's not only going to the child that's going to the mother's needs as well she doesn't have a job oh my god I wish I could think about who I'm talking about right now hold on I'll think about it Yes, them. That's that's who I'm talking about. That's insane to me. Like y'all, you women need to get up off your ass and go to work. It's like you can't. Oh, it makes me so mad. And people are gonna be like, "No, you didn't hear what Kim said." No, I heard. You guys here to react. I heard to respond. There's a difference. Y'all are always gonna find something wrong with whatever that family does get over it i do think that's my if it talk. wasn't <laughs> that's what kim talk i think that if her saying that wasn't some like contrived like is that the word contrived some sort of scheme to gather pr for them i think it really is taken out of context just because She's obviously not talking about people like us. Right. And they are asking about like in business. Well, look at the type of women in business that she's around. She's not around me or you. She's not at all. They're not talking about the housekeepers who own their businesses. No, she's talking about, well, nepotism baby. She's talking about trust fund baby. She's talking about possibly Kylie, possibly Courtney. <laughs> like these are yes. the business women that she's around. but people don't like to think outside the box, I guess, sometimes. No, they don't. It's not good clickbait. Actually, you know what? I want to talk about Kim Kardashian real quick in Balenciaga. So for the last couple of months, she's been like a walking billboard for Balenciaga, wearing it to like every event. I think except for mm -hmm. like the Gucci event, that might be the only event she's been to in recent memory where she has not been wearing Balenciaga. So she wore this blue Balenciaga gown, two piece. I don't yeah. really exactly know how it was constructed to the Oscars, but I heard a lot of, let's just say interesting takes on the Oscars fashion. 
um, mainly that most people really liked the after party looks more than the red carpet. And one of my favorite Oscar after party looks was what Rihanna was wearing. Uh, she's wearing like this, is it tulle? I don't know, but it was super cute. And I really feel like Rihanna has changed the way that we view maternity fashion. And I'm kind of, it's kind of surprising that no one has For really sure. taken a lot of risk with maternity fashion, uh, celebrity wise, up until Rihanna. You know, I was actually thinking that. And I think it's because when we, I think Rihanna just doesn't give a, about people's opinion, like truly, you know? And I think that she is not afraid to like step out and be bold in every sense of that manner. And I guess maybe women didn't think it would be like socially acceptable. And then mm. they saw her doing it and she looks phenomenal doing it to where I was kind of like, why hasn't this been done before? Yeah. But you know, sometimes you just got to have that person to create the blueprint. And she it's was that. True. And a lot of women are currently following that blueprint. I mean, I feel like I've seen so many women who are halfway through their pregnancy that their whole style has just changed completely literally yeah. someone in my family i i'm not even joking whoop twin i guess that's it for messy media friday thank you eavesdroppers for tuning in we truly enjoy your time if you enjoy our time and our content then you can always join our inner circle over on patreon where you can listen to this episode and every episode ad free. You get exclusive bonus content. You're welcome. And did I say early access? If I said it, I'm gonna say it again. Early access to all of our videos. And if that's not your thing, that's okay. As my twin says, you can do a skip and a hop over to TikTok and give us a follow and then roll on down the hill and subscribe to our channel. Well, until next time, eavesdroppers, signing off.